Hello viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation channel. I do want to apologize for the lack of videos recently. School's been going on and I've been going through a few things personally. Uh, yeah, the reason we released that Japanese video is because, well, we spent a lot of time on that and we had a lot of fun with it and we thought you guys might enjoy it as well. Obviously not to the 40 of you that unsubscribed because of it. Um, props to you guys. Uh, those guys will be missing this video today, which is the Aquavator Mark II. Um, this is an update to Mark I, and it's also a thank you to Etho, um, who mentioned us in one of his recent LPs. Um, the premise for the Aquavator is pretty simple. Etho mentioned it in one of his uh, older LPs, um, and it goes a bit like this. Uh, now, fences, if you know, are one and a half blocks tall, and if you just try to jump over one, you can't because you can only jump one block high. However, if you walk forward while jumping out of water, uh, you can get on top of that fence. So you get that extra half block of height, and using that acceleration, you can make a pretty cool elevator out of it, which we call the Aquavator. All right, so let's just go ahead and show the Aquavator in action. What we're going to do is we're gonna stand on that pressure plate, and we're going to hold forward and spacebar. So let's stand on the pressure plate, press forward and spacebar at the same time, and we're just gonna head to the top, and there we go. Um, as you can see, it's pretty fast too. Um, we're already up here, and we're only in the elevator for a couple of seconds. Uh, then we're gonna wait for Maz. And we're gonna head back down. And we got this nifty little feature here with the pressure plates that doesn't activate it when you walk out, which is pretty cool. Alright, so I don't really have anything else to explain, so let's get started with the tutorial. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to decide where we want our aquavator to be. So let's just go ahead and place our two outer walls um, wherever, right here, and then place the back wall right there. And if you can imagine, our elevator will go straight up from here, from this block here. What we're going to do is we're going to take two iron pressure plates and place them there and there. The reason we used iron is because they tend to respond a little bit better than stone or wooden pressure plates. Go ahead and test that out on your own. And then for ease of building, we're going to just get rid of that block there. What we're going to do is we're going to dig underneath this block here and take a redstone signal from that pressure plate, uh, lead it into that block there, and then just dig out some blocks here and lead that into a repeater there on two ticks that will go into a block and then into redstone like so then this pressure plate is also going to power redstone right here that's going to go directly into a sticky piston there and then with a block right there what we're going to do is we're going to take this redstone and lead it up like so and then we're going to lead it up onto the floor so if we test this out this should be our falling edge monostable for the starting circuit as you can see when we jump, uh, that redstone turns on. What we're going to do is we're going to wire the system that prevents it from going when you walk out of the elevator. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a signal from this uh, pressure plate here into redstone there, into a repeater there, um, two ticks, and then that's going to power into this block and then into that redstone there. And go ahead and fill in your floor again. Um, so as you can see when we walk out, our falling edge is not triggered. Now we're just going to go ahead and build our frame, so I'm going to fast forward through that. Alright, so we're going to build one about that high, so we're not building forever and ever. What we're going to do is we're going to place our dispensers, whoops, <laughs> we're going to place our dispensers and they're just going to go here. Uh, you're going to need two blocks here and then the first dispenser, as you can see here. The block on the floor, two, and then the first dispenser starts there. And we're gonna make our way to the top. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to place all of our water buckets into these dispensers. Unfortunately, you're gonna need a lot of water buckets, uh, one per block that you go up, but it shouldn't be too bad. It and then once we got that, then we can go ahead and fill in the front. Alright, finishing up the facade, we're going to need a sign, and we're going to need uh, one more water. Uh, you don't need the bucket for this one. You're going to place a sign here, and what I would do is I would just write the instructions on how to use this. So, um, hold forward and spacebar, 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to place a water source right there then at the top we're going to do pretty much the same thing we're going to place a block on top of this dispenser here a sign and then on top of that we're going to place a water source but let's go ahead and fill it around here place our water source and there we go all right once we got that then we can go ahead and start with the wiring so we're going to come around to the back over here and we're going to take this redstone and we can fill in those blocks um we can lead that up and then up again into redstone on that block there over into a repeater on two I just want to take a moment to note that every repeater you place from now on will be on two ticks and it has to be on two ticks otherwise your build will not work um, if your build does not work make sure to check all of your repeaters before commenting and if it still doesn't work then go ahead and comment with redstone in front on a half slab lead that up going that way and then lead it up going that way this redstone here is going to lead over into a repeater on two here which will lead onto a half slab here with redstone top block it off and lead that redstone going up this will go straight over into that dispenser there and then this redstone is going to go over into a repeater on two and then this is where it goes and just does the same thing over and over again so once again redstone on a half slab lead that up and lead it up over into a repeater on two onto redstone on a half slab redstone there lead that over and yeah i'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest And then once you get to the top, you um, just stop on whatever dispensers on top. Um, if you did need to go one higher, then obviously you'd add this uh, repeater here um, with redstone there going up into that last dispenser. But we don't have that, so you can get rid of all that. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to come down back down to the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to place a block right here and a powered rail right there and I'm not sure why but for some reason this bottom dispenser has trouble firing the first time and if you place powered rail there then it's just a whole lot more reliable just do it and your life will be much better but that's only for the bottom one you don't need it on any of the other levels all right so once you got all that you should be done but um uh just one tick on one repeater will screw up the whole thing and if you don't have water in one dispenser that will also screw it up don't be surprised it didn't work the first time thank you wintech two ticks is very important um let's just go ahead and try it once more stand on the pressure plate hold it forward in the space bar and we get launched up and it's pretty cool and yeah that's the aquavator mark ii Alright, so this has been the Redstone Innovation Channel. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check it out, pass it off, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff, and we'll see you guys next time.